Well, you can't be a web host reseller without hosting, so let's start there. There are plenty of hosting companies out there, but today I'm going to focus on one of them. I'm going to tell you why I think they are the best choice for you as a reseller and the best choice for your client. I'm talking about NameHero, located at NameHero.com. I have a link for you in the description below. NameHero was founded in 2015 by 20-year internet entrepreneur veteran Ryan Gray. From his experience, Gray saw what other web hosts lacked and decided to start his own. NameHero operates a private cloud with solid state drives, the highest available bandwidth, and powerful Intel processors. What that means is your websites load faster, pages load faster. Reliability, NameHero was just awarded the great uptime seal from hostadvice.com. Lightspeed web server and Cloudflare with Railgun for speed and security are both available to resellers and are two more reasons to choose NameHero. Finally, NameHero has tons of five-star third-party positive reviews that you can check out right on their website or shopperapproved.com. And they have excellent technical support 24-7, 365 days a year. Seriously, I've had John, Sam, and Josh, even Ryan Gray himself, up all hours of the night helping me get through some rough spots. They'll have you straightened out in minutes if possible. I've never had to wait for a response from these guys, no lie. Now let's look at the cost of becoming a hosting reseller. For starters, if you're going to resell hosting to your clients, you're going to need more space. Space for multiple websites, not your own. You'll need more bandwidth than normal hosting because you'll not only be serving your own clients and customers, but you'll be serving your clients' customers as well. For that, you'll pay a little more for your hosting package, but only a little more, for now. In fact, when it's all said and done and your business is running right, you won't be paying for hosting at all. Now isn't that why you became a reseller anyway? I thought so. This is what I recommend. Click on the name hero link below and then click on reseller hosting tab at the top of the page when you get there. Go ahead, do it now. Once you're on this page, the one that says reseller hosting in big white letters with the blue background at the top. Psst. Look back at the video. Should look like this one. Cool. You got it. There are three options here. They are all relatively the same in terms of features. They all have the same great features. The difference is size. Isn't it always? I want you to pay attention to the one in the middle because I want to show you how to be a reseller, but I also want to show you how to automate it. That's the hardest part, but it's easy when someone shows you how to do it. There are not many people out there who will show you this, so you're welcome. As a disclaimer, I spent a lot of years not automating it. If you would rather start that way or if money is tight today, go ahead and choose one of the other packages. No shame there. Another great thing about NameHero is that you can always scale up as you need it, almost instantly in fact. So choose the package that's right for you. For this video, I'm going to show you the corporate reseller package because it comes with a free license to WHMCS. WHMCS is the automation part. Okay, so I'm off script, so bear with me. Right here we have the corporate reseller. You can see that it has 100 gigabytes of SSD storage and 2000 gigabytes of bandwidth. You can host unlimited clients and the big one here is the free WHMCS starter license which is what you're going to use to automate your reselling business. You know, again, I told you, you don't have to use this, but um, I'm going to show you how, so it's going to make it worthwhile. So if you want that for free, go ahead and click choose corporate. Okay. On this screen, you can choose to start a brand new domain. And depending on how long you want to start your package for, it can be one month or six months or a year. You can get a free domain out of this for the first year. If you want to use another domain that you've already bought, click this button here and just type in the domain name in the box. All right, so it's verified my name, uh, domain name Hostinger. And here it gives you the options to pick your billing cycle. And they have you set up for 24 months here at $32.95 a month and that is the regular price but at the end you're going to be able to take advantage of the fall discounts of 40% so if you're doing a brand new domain and this is a brand new account but if you want to choose one month you're going to get charged $39.95 a month and that's $40 but it's still a really good deal for what you're getting and like I said once you start gaining clients you're going to charge them for hosting 
And if you charge them at $10 a month with hosting and maybe adding in some website maintenance benefits, then you're only going to need four clients and your hosting is paid for the month. All right, we highly recommend backups. So five gigabytes worth of backup is another $1.99. And since the WHMCS starter license is free, we're going to click that and click continue. Now this is our checkout. Um, I'm already getting a savings of $14.68 for the fast fall resale coupon that's automatically included. So that brings my cost for the month at to $27.26 for the first month. If you're purchasing a new domain and you chose anything larger than a month, I believe that's going to be a free domain. So it, it, that'll also be calculated as zero. Otherwise, you're probably going to be paying about $14.95 for the domain. And then when you're all set, click checkout. This is where you fill in your payment information. You can pay by credit card, PayPal, or Coinbase, which is uh, using Bitcoin. You do have to have a Coinbase account to pay with Bitcoin. Once you filled all this in, go ahead and complete order. And next I'll show you how to go into cPanel and set up your WordPress environment. Now that you've set up your hosting reseller account and logged into the client area, the next thing we want to do is set up some packages for you and your clients to use when they purchase web hosting. This is not something ordinarily done by the regular customer of web hosting, but as a reseller, we have to do that ourselves. So once you're in the client area, click cloud to web hosting, and that'll pull up your corporate hero link here. So click on corporate hero. And over to the right, that gives you options to log into cPanel or WHM. Now, in order to make packages for your web hosting clients and yourself, we have to log into WHM. So click that. And it should automatically log you into your account. If you go over to the sidebar here, you can see a link here that says list accounts. And you can click on that. <clears throat> I use it the most to access all the uh, accounts on my uh, back in for you you probably don't have any accounts listed not even the one you signed up with so in order to get that account set up with web hosting we have to do it ourselves we need to start with creating a package so under packages click add a package once you're in add a package we want to give it a name for this one I'm going to call training you might want to call yours basic or startup or something that you can use with clients or if you're just doing it for yourself um, you can call it main or give it any sort of name that you want setting disk quota how big do you want it well this one's already set up for to be 10 gigs that's in megabytes right here or you can do it as unlimited so an unlimited amount of space with name hero you can go to unlimited and scale up as it starts to fill up but for us, we're just going to go with 10. So I'm going to leave that number, and that's 10 gigabytes of disk. And then for monthly bandwidth, let's also keep that at 10 gigabytes. I'm going to change this number to 10240. FTP accounts. Now this is how many accounts can log in to this, uh, to this website at one time. And you can set that number to five or 10 or three or anything you want. You can leave it as unlimited if it's just for personal use, it doesn't matter. Max email accounts, how many accounts do you want your clients to be able to create on their website? Maybe they only get 10 or 20, put that number in here. Again, I'm just leaving that default. This is the size of the email they're gonna use. Um, I would mark that down to about a gig. Databases, you might uh, actually add five or ten to that number here. Subdomains, it's how you can divide up your main domain into smaller domains and use it for different purposes like billing or admin functions or client accounts. Park domains, you can leave your client with a couple of park domains. Add-on domains, not important. Down here, we're going to leave this at CGI Access. Paper Lantern is the default. 
feature list. Um, I'm just going to leave it at default. English LV settings is your light speed settings. I'm just going to leave it blank. And once we have package name, everything set up, just click add. So once that's been created, we can add our hosting account. Down here under account functions, just click create new account. And here you're going to type in the domain that you signed up with because you're going to need that first if you want to set up your business account um, under that domain or anytime you're setting up a client. Once they purchase a domain, you can put that domain here and point it back here with name servers. For now, let's just create that account by typing in the domain name. Username will autofill. You can change that if you want. Password has to meet a certain qualification. Just use some capital letters and numbers and that should be fine. Put in your email that's associated with that domain. It could be your client's email, could be your own email. Choose a package. Now this is going to show all the packages that you've created already. You could have a demo package. I created the training package just now, so I'm going to click training. We're going to leave these the way they are. This is set. If their domain is on a different registrar like GoDaddy, you can choose to use those name servers. But if you're hosting them, you probably want to use uh, your own name servers, which will be listed down here. And then once that's all done, hit create. Okay, after that's been created, your new account is going to appear in this list. In my case, it's Hostinger. And uh, it'll be listed under the domain that you gave it. It'll show you the IP address that it's assigned, your username that you put in, the email address, which package you used for it. And that's it. You set up your first web hosting account with your domain. And now you're ready to go into cPanel and install WordPress. Okay, that's the hard part done. Now, I know that if it sounded a little confusing to you, um, I totally understand. But if you have any problems with that, you can either leave me a question or since you have an account with the name hero, just go back to your client area and click tickets. All right. And they have a huge support system here. And what, you can either go to the knowledge base and, and look up how to set up a, a hosting account, reseller hosting. There's 32 blog posts on that uh, and, and a number of videos. But uh, what it boils down to is if you can't figure it out, you go in here and you click open a ticket. Click tech support. And then you basically tell them what it is and explain what you're having trouble with. And I guarantee they'll be back with you within five minutes and have an answer for you. So go ahead and go that route if you're if you're having a lot of problems with that. But really keep it simple, uh, especially when you're just starting out. OK, so now let's go back here and let's get started installing your WordPress website onto your brand new hosting account that you set up yourself. Cool, huh? So find your domain that you just created. It's probably right at the top because you only have one right now and click CP that stands for cPanel and that is going to take you right into your cPanel. There you are and this is what cPanel looks like and if you've ever seen one before they pretty much all look the same. There is an older look to to it uh, that you might have but if you go to this theme option uh, and hit paper lantern the paper lantern theme is always like this. But once you are here scroll down let's go down here to this this one. We're looking for WordPress. So go down to the Softaculous apps installer. You're going to look here and you're going to see WordPress. You're also going to see WHMCS, which we will get to in a later video. So click WordPress. You're going to click install now. And it's going to ask you for a few things here. It's already set up on your security protocol with HTTPS. Now it defaults to a WP directory, but if you want it directly on your domain, we're going to remove that. We'll just delete that. 
Uh, you can change the site name here if you want. We're just going to wait to do it inside WordPress. Your admin and password uh, is a good idea to um, change it here. We also recommend that you never leave your username as admin because once someone uses admin, they've figured out half of your login and then they only have to figure out your password. So let's change your admin. So change it something relevant to you and your password. You can generate a random password here. Copy that and paste it to a notepad somewhere so you can remember. Move down, admin at hostinger.com. Now this is not created yet. So uh, if you want to do this, you can go back and into your into your cPanel, which we're in right now. You'd have to go back and create that this email. But for now, let's change it to something that we already have to make it easy. There we go. Because it's going to send this login information to that email. So make sure you have one that's working already. English. Advanced options. Uh, this is the database name that's going to set up. And what I like to do is auto upgrade for WordPress. So it will automatically update every time WordPress puts out a new update. Select a theme. We won't be using any of these. We can also do that from the, from the website itself in WordPress. Uh, also the backup location is already taken care of by name hero. So now all you have to do is click install and it should take three or four seconds. There you go. All right, your next step is here um, to log in. You're gonna go here. If you go here, it's just gonna show you the front end of the site, but let's log into it. Click that link. It logs you straight into WordPress. And if you click my blog at the top, or if you change it to the name of your website, it'll say that here in this area. Just click that. It'll take you to the front end. And there you have it. You've just installed WordPress on your brand new domain that you created on your brand new hosting account that you created all by yourself. And that's it. Your next step is to build out your website, build out your business site um, for your clients to visit. Handle that any way you would like. If you're a designer, you're probably all set to design your own website. You can grab any number of tutorials on YouTube to help you set up that site. That's what I did to get started. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I will either get back to you that way or I'll create a brand new video to answer some of those questions. But hey, I really appreciate you and my next few videos are going to be geared around getting this set up in the back end with your email, setting up your client, working with WHM and cPanel, all those sort of things. So appreciate you guys watching. Have a good night.